Okay, let's start. Dear friends and uh, colleagues, warmly welcome to all of you and also all of you who are following us uh, online today. In a perfect world, there would be no need for us meeting today, of course. Uh, Gender-based uh, violence or, or violence in uh, any form should simply not exist and would not exist in a perfect world. But uh, unfortunately, uh, this is not the case, so that's why we are here today. Uh, the project uh, New Ways uh, to Tackle Gender-Based Violence, uh, Nordic and uh, Baltic uh, Approach, was initiated and co-financed by the respective Estonian ministries, police and border guard, social insurance board and prosecutor's uh, office. The project is supported financially by the Nordic uh, Council of Ministers. Why? Because an equal and inclusive society in which everyone has a good life should be a common goal for all of us. Equal society's precondition is the absence of any gender-based violence. It is uh, a priority for the Nordic Council of Ministers in uh, cooperation with its neighbor states to develop and implement effective methods to elim eliminate all forms of gender-based violence. Yeah, I thought uh, my, my voice is so loud, so, so usually I don't need a mic, but in order for us to have the voice uh, online also, I need uh, to use one. Anyway, uh, the aim of the project is to offer a platform for specialists uh, of the whole Nordic Baltic region to cooperate and network with the aim of raising awareness, uh, preventing gender-based violence, and achieving better safety and providing assistance for the victims of domestic uh, violence. Due to the corona pandemic, uh, the first planned activities in 2020 were postponed many times, and it was not easy to get partners uh, uh, from the Nordic countries. Uh, but uh, now, uh, what has been done uh, so far? Quite a lot, actually. In, uh, August uh, 2021, at uh, the first event, uh, an international hybrid conference, uh, domestic violence uh, from near and far, was organized uh, here in uh, Tallinn in uh, Estonia. The videos of uh, the presentations are available uh, on YouTube. In uh, 2021, uh, roundtables and study visits took place in four countries, uh, on the following uh, topics. In May, in Vilnius, in Lithu Lithuania, uh, it was a roadmap towards uh, an effective domestic uh, violence uh, preventation, emergency bearing order and specialized support system for the victims of domestic uh, violence. In September, in uh, Tampere, Finland, uh, the topic was uh, services for the victims and perpetrators. And in November, in Riga, uh, the discussion was about uh, opportunities and challenges in uh, multidisciplinary cooperation, combating and preventing gender-based uh, uh, violence. And today and tomorrow here in Tallinn, we are about to deal with supporting children suffering from domestic uh, violence. Also, study visits uh, were organized by uh, to police departments, uh, women's information center, NGOs providing services for the victims and perpetrators of domestic violence, and helpline and shelters. In Estonia, a local training was organized in November on the topic, uh, what is uh, trauma, by a local psychologist, uh, Kaja kastepel Törs and practical examples of uh, trauma-informed uh, care in the law enforcement uh, organizations practice by Ask Elklit, a professor from the University of uh, Southern Denmark. 
Uh, the latter was taken into video uh, as well and will be available also uh, on YouTube soon. Um, Latvia and Lithuania are also uh, planning to have their local trainings in uh, December. And all the materials will be available on uh, our uh, homepage, uh, norden.ee, uh, by the end of January 23, so next year. Within the project, uh, an analysis of the gender-based uh, violence uh, during COVID-19 was conducted in order to compare the actions and strategies in the countries. The results of the study will be presented to you here in a few minutes. This uh, entire project uh, uh, was successful not only because of many activities and topics discussed uh, or good practices shared. There is even more. Now there is a network of specialists from the Baltic and Nordic countries who know each other personally and now it is easy to write or call each other in case of uh, questions. Meetings in person and networking during events have proved to be very important elements of different uh, projects. Then uh, some uh, examples of, of uh, the numbers of participation. Uh, for example, in the uh, conference uh, we had uh, 85, 85 participants and, uh, and uh, 1,400 online viewers, so that was uh, quite a lot. And in each of the roundtable and study visits uh, there were over 100 persons uh, uh, totally. Today, uh, during the project roundtable, the representatives of the uh, Nordic Baltic countries will discuss the possible follow-up of the activities on uh, combating gender-based uh, violence. I would also like to take uh, this uh, opportunity to thank uh, all of you for the great uh, work that uh, uh, you are doing and for being uh, so uh, active. And I wish you all fruitful uh, discussions. Now I will give the floor to uh, Kaya uh, Söder uh, from the Turu Uringut Foundation for presenting the uh, research results. Kaya, the floor is yours. Thank you. <laughs> 